Hello! Um, sadly, I don't know exactly where you can buy these much anymore, but um, a friend found um, a kind of a different version. It's like similar to mine, but not quite. Mm. So, uh, I don't know if you can even still buy this exact model one anymore. Um, but because, yeah, I bought it on the quite a unknown costume site and um, I did try looking for it again but uh, I can't find it <laughs> it was just chance of me finding this I suppose but uh, yes this is the inside of the chicken I can't really reach that because it's quite high I have to it's like of course you know if I even try to reach of course the costume goes with me so it's you know, I have to technically I have to technically grab onto the seams and pull the costume like really down but I normally do it with two hands, but of course I can't do it because one hand is with the thing. Uh, you know, you've got a little bit of like that to keep the shape of it. You can you can kind of get your hand in it, and as you can see on the screen, <laughs> it's like, yeah, I can kind of make it talk, kind of. It's a bit hard to, it's a bit hard, it's quite hard to grab things because, you know, it's quite of a small hole. This costume is quite enclosed. The only bit that won't be enclosed will be like the feet um, it flakes over your foot it's one of them it's one of them uh, it's one of them costumes uh, but yeah basically the arm doesn't have any holes so you know I don't need to put my arm in it uh, you only get this you only get this small window and look there's my camera <laughs> uh, you, know, you get this small little window but it's, it's decent and of course you know when I'm when I actually got my arms in it I can actually see but right now it's like oh it's a little high than normal because it's like fully inflated and all that such. Right, I'm gonna put it in my pocket. Right, hopefully you can still hear me. Um, I'm hoping, if not, I'll have to turn up the volume, I suppose. Yeah. This, this, this is the big joint chicken. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you've got the feet. Like, I, I also I also use this as like my childish like character in a way like you know I, I, I know I've never really um, told you all I know I've never really like you know talked about it uh, really much apart from like a few like friends but uh, yeah basically some of you know a couple of my quite a lot of my costumes have like weird people personalities that I just do off screen this one is like my childish one I like to I don't know I just find it like quite like even like childish style. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Can you see? Can you see the window? Can you see the window? Can you? Uh, to end this video, let's go to the review screen. Now the pros of this costume. This costume is quite encased with its design, so the air tightness within, of course, is quite tight. So there's nowhere the air can really escape from, apart from like I've already explained in the video. You know, it's basically where your feet is is the only bit where air could probably escape. But trust me, the head, arm, whatever, you know, there is no way air can escape so easily at all. Also due to the air being quite tight, tightly tracked within, it of course inflates quite fast. So you can get right on to having fun with this costume because like I said, it's almost in the minute range. It, it is almost in the minute range when it comes to like, you know, starting up the fan and inflating it, which is quite rare for quite a couple of inflatable costumes. Without getting like some sort of modified like flexible fan which presses more air into the costume with force 
so yeah, with the most basic fan, it is almost in the minute range. Uh, like, it's quite close to two minutes, but still, like, that's quite fast for an inflatable costume, and that's because the air can't really escape really much in this costume, due to, you know, everywhere being quite enclosed, apart from the feet. This costume also gives off a feel like you're some sort of inflatable mascot with its design and size. Because, yeah, I do feel like, I do feel like it kind of gives off that kind of vibe. Uh, you know, like, I put it on and I just feel like I'm advertising something. I don't know, or due to just how big and wide it is. So yeah, if you are looking for a costume with that kind of, with that kind of like, oh, I wanna, I wanna be kind of close to it, like a proper flip mascot, this costume could definitely do it. This definitely could definitely do it for a lower price rather than you know into the hundreds of pounds and such. Because like, like I said, the inflatable mascot like costumes are very expensive. <laughs> The cons of the costume. It's quite basic with its detail, so there's not much you can play around with due to like you know, like I said, its basic like design in it, which is quite a shame. You can still do something. It's just that you know, you can't do a lot of stuff because it's like a very very basic watered down like detail design. But yeah, you know, you can do some things. Like I said. Removing your arms from the armholes can also cause visibility issues with the small window kind of rising up from, from where you are. Uh, so you so if you want to have proper good visibility always you've got to have a you do have to have you do kinda of have to have both arms into the hole, at least dragging it a bit down so you can see. But it doesn't rise up too much, but still like you know, if you want to see middle to you know below below to the floor, uh, it would be wise to definitely keep the hand, your arms inside the hole. So if you if you're someone who, you know, gets quite tired, you know, exhausted, maybe this costume might not be for you just for that factor alone. So have that in mind. And this costume can be a bit dangerous because if you're not careful you could hurt yourself due to the arm area being very wide and big and kind of bit basically to grab things in a way. Um, you basically wear will struggle to grab anything if you do so fall. So it is a bit of a danger risk with this costume. But I suppose if you wrap your arm around like a railing instead of trying to grab with your hand, you definitely will save yourself from a fall if you actually did fall. But yeah, basically, basically you basically trying to grab things in this costume is definitely a bit of a danger risk. So be aware if you actually get this costume. But if you fall. You're just gonna fall unless you think, unless you think really fast into not doing what you're probably normally gonna do for, for your action like that, and do something else to stop yourself from falling. So just be aware you could hurt yourself with this one. Now, time for the verdict. Uh, the verdict of this costume is I'm gonna give this a seven out of ten because yeah, it, even though it's quite basic, it's still quite a lot of fun. It's well designed in terms of you know basically being able to get into a costume very quick and it basically inflating and probably some of you may even enjoy um, it being some of you might even enjoy it being quite tall because trust me it is quite tall and it is difficult to even put this on camera without putting the camera so far away but you know my room is only so wide so you know I try my best but yeah and, and plus the fact it's quite a bit basic but of course, I wanted to kind of give this an 8 out of 10, but, you know, due to it kind of basic details and that, if you're not careful, you could de definitely hurt yourself with this one. Um, unlike some other, unlike other costumes where, you know, if you do fall, you can at least grab onto something and you're not gonna, you're not gonna have the material slip where you're gonna grab. Uh, with this one, yeah, like I said, you, it is difficult to grab some things, so you basically are quite prone to hurting yourself in this if you're not careful where you're going and all that. So of course due to that I've had to lower it to definitely a 7 out of 10 which seems a bit more reasonable of rating for this costume which is a little bit of a let down but hey it's still 7 out of 10 it's not 5 or 6 you know so this costume uh, quite a lot of quite a few people will enjoy and basically like this costume.
Anyway, to end this video, it's time to say goodbye. So yes, thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you in whatever video that may be. <laughs> I can just about... Actually, can I bend? It can kind of... There we go. Oh, hold on. I'll try it again. Try. Come on. Let's try this again. <laughs> Hope to see you in whatever video that may be. That's, I think that did all right. <laughs> it's hard to tell. I can't see... Because I have to turn. So I, uh, I can't see my TV screen to see the preview <laughs> of what's going on. So, uh, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I fail to do it. Anyway, like I said, that's going to be the end. Thank you for watching, and bye bye. If you enjoyed, don't forget you can subscribe to support me, and perhaps you can even hit that bell to never miss a video from me ever. Also, we do have a Discord server if you're interested, the link is below. Anyways, my name is Flappy Jokes, and goodbye.